is if the journey would have been short, they all would have followed you, but the journey was long and it weighed on them. And many of them made excuses to stay home. I'm going to say that again. The Holy Quran says if the journey was short, they all would have followed you, but the journey was long. It was hard. It was tedious. And many of them made excuses to stay home. In your life, if you want to progress, it's going to be tough. In your life, if you want to succeed, it's going to be hard. In your life, if you want something more than you had, you have to do something more than you used to do. It requires discipline. It requires patience. It, re it requires a stick to -itiveness. The Quran says man shall have what he strives for and his striving will soon be seen. I have created man to toil and struggle. The Quran says, if you follow the guidance, I will raise you to the highest of the high. But if you don't follow the guidance, I will reduce you to the lowest of the low. What does that mean? In layman's, term, in layman's terms, it means that you have to be willing to do something different. You have to be willing to follow God when all other people think you are crazy. You have to be willing to follow God through the trials and the tribulations, through all of the obstacles that are put in front of you because you understand that God's message is true in your life. The Quran says, This is a guidance for who? Those who believe. This is a guidance for those who believe. Do you think you'll be believed without being test without being tested? Quran talking. I have tested men before you to determine whether they were true or false. Quran talking. So if you want something in life, you have to give all that you have. God says, I will never change the condition of a people until they first change themselves you are sitting around waiting on god and god is waiting on you he is waiting for you to take one step and he'll take three steps towards you you see this requires action the quran says mere belief counts for nothing unless carried into practice this is an activating principle you see being a believer is an adjective it's not a noun. Oh, I'm going to say that again. It may be too early for you this morning. I got to wake you up. Being a believer is an adjective. It's not a noun. It's not a person, place, or thing. It is a person who is actively doing something, achieving something, learning something in their faith to be better. The Quran says, surely man is lost except those who encourage those in patience and constancy and in good works. You see, again, the Quran is talking about people who are doing something. People, because they are doing something, being around people who are encouraging them in their faith and in patience. One of the great things about the Arabic language, patience in Arabic, I love it. It means wait, yes, but it means wait without complaining. Beautiful. Why wait without complaining? Because you understand that the direction came from God. Therefore, your time is not his time. His time is not your time. But we understand, those of us who believe, we believe that God's promise is true. 
So why are you complaining about the circumstances that you're currently in? Because if you understand the God that you serve, you understand that these circumstances that you're in are shaping you for your destiny. They had a fire for Abraham. They had a cross for Jesus. They had wars for Muhammad. Oh, I hope you hear me. They had circumstances that they were in that God saved them from because they were his servants. They were carrying his message. They were carrying out their purpose for the kingdom of God. Mm. If the journey was short, they all would have followed you. But the journey was long and many of them made excuses. My question for you today is, are you strong enough? Do you have the courage? Will you muster the determination that is needed to get you to the next level? Will you have the testicular fortitude to cut off those people in 2021 who do not serve your best interests and are against your purpose? Oh, I'm going to say that again because it's going to take a little courage for you to do that. In 2021, will you have the testicular fortitude to cut off those people who don't serve your best interest and who are not in line with your purpose. You see, because if you allow those people to knock you off purpose, then your purpose with God has not been fulfilled. And it is the highest crime in the universe. God says he will forgive over and over because he's Gafurun Rahim. But he said he will never forgive those people who uh, commit what we call an Arabic shirk, who join partners with God. Oh, I want you to hear me. You see, because if you're going on man's word, as juxtaposed to God's promise, you are committing high crimes and misdemeanors in the spiritual world. Listen to me. God says he will forgive all things. Rahim. He forgives over and over, but he will never forgive you sharing his kingdom, his partnership with others because he is the only one that gets you to where you need to go. He is the only one that supplies you what you need. He is the only one that you can find comfort in. In long term, God says he will never change the condition of a people until they first change themselves. If the journey was short, they all would have followed you. But the journey was long and it weighed on them. And many of them are making excuses. We say, but my life is hard. Yes. It's supposed to be because God is preparing you. You say, but you don't understand my struggles. No, I'm not supposed to because God is preparing you. You say, yeah, but people are mean and nasty to me. Yes, and they are fulfilling God's scripture and God's promise. Has anybody walked this earth that has been great, that people weren't nasty to them? People threatened to kill them. People credit, people discredited them. People gave them lessons in what humility is supposed to be. When you know people are lying on you, when you know people are trying to discredit you, when you know people are absolutely ardent against you, has it been any man? A woman that has walked this earth that has not gone through that type of struggle? Oh, you are a baby in the scripture if you think there has not been. You are a child in the scripture if you think you're going to walk this earth and not be tried by evil. You are a baby in the scripture, if you think men are not men and women are not going to come against you with evil just because you say you believe. 
if the journey